Alrighty, guys. Welcome to a little game called Tooth and Tail. This is a real-time strategy game. Believe it or not, this is an RTS. It's in the same game category as StarCraft 2 is. It's just that it's a little bit different. So this game, uh, it came out a couple of years ago. I know a lot of you really, really liked it at the time. Um, I, as a matter of fact, did play it. Some of you might even recall. Um, but I did play it for New a little while as well, detected. but I never finished it. So I figured today, let us go ahead and start up a full playthrough of it. It's a relatively short one. I think it's like 10 hours max. Um, so yeah, should be good. Should be fun. We're going to start a completely fresh playthrough, of course. I know that some people apparently even played a multiplayer version of this game, but, uh, I'll go ahead and focus on the story mode instead. So I did play this for, I think about an hour, an hour and a half or so. Look who I used to play 2v2 with my ex-girlfriend in this game. Okay. New subscriber detected. Look who I'm Diamond 2 in StarCraft 2 and I get destroyed in multiplayer. Okay. Alright, not bad. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, so I do feel like this is gonna be a game, right? Where people are like, Loco, you're half decent at StarCraft. That must mean that these games will come easy to you. This is gonna be one of those games where I will reveal to all of you that the only reason I'm half decent at StarCraft is because I've grinded mechanics for years. Um, I'm not necessarily the best strategy game player out there. I've just played a lot of StarCraft and I've learned after stubbornly, you know, not admitting mistakes over the course of years. So this game, it might not even be a very good idea at all because some people live under the illusion that I'm good at RTS games. <laughs> uh, anyways. As far as the options go, I haven't even gone into this yet. I'm assuming... Yeah. Oh, yeah, what I do remember is that, like, this game has a font they use in, like, the, the story, and I need to read a lot. The font in this game is pretty bad. I have never been a big fan of it. I wonder if I can change it. Uh, I don't think I can. There was a... Subtitles? Okay, we'll turn that on. Streamer mode? What does that mean? Alright, fine. Alright. Anyways. Story mode, new game. Yes. Go ahead. Don't be scared. Is that a windmill? I told my son. We won't work the farms. No. We won't eat the food of beasts. We'll eat meat, as any civilized animal does. Hell yeah! But when the civilized called a harvest, and the city feasted on my boy, we took to the warriors and lit the country aflame. Who decides the fate of animals? The long coats? The common folk? The KSR? Or the civilized? Whoever triumphs will go hungry no more. Those who fall will be dinner. It's not what you expected, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clever, dude. Alright, so the civilized are fat from the feast. Now is our chance. Rally around the flag. I am the cursor. Alright, so I can send in my dudes by just right clicking. Get him, boys! Can I, uh... Brothers, dig some warrants to bring in the reinforcements. Alright, so there's a variety of troops that we can make. Advance onto those bullet hives. Yeah, so this is a... It's a very... It's a very story-driven, very simplistic RTS. But, supposedly, it is quite tricky. So, yeah. Was the music a little bit loud? It was a little bit loud on my end, actually. So, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna lower it a bit. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It was fine. Alright, advance here. Get him, boys! So I can just back off. So I am the cursor. I am where they attack move. And I heal up out of combat. Air units incoming. Fall back behind our defenses. Alright, come on, boys. Hold to retreat. Alright. Yeah, so 
It's a game about animals going to war against each other. I am the A move button. Yeah, yeah. If I rally well next to an enemy, my army will focus on it. Okay, so I just rallied in range of that... Whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must stand next to the bullet hive and hold a rally. Right, right, that's what I've done. Is this real history? Yes. This happened as well in, uh, in real life. My siege unit's over there from a distance dealing damage right here to this one hive. Good. Most of the boys have gone down, but it is what it is. It's time to bring in the big guns. Alright, so that's my quest objective right there in the top left. Destroy the civilized grist mill and destroy all enemy structures. Come on, boys. Yeah, so I heal up pretty quickly. I can obviously also tank quite a bit of damage. I just need to make sure I don't die myself. Yo, Mr. Marduk. Three years. It's a long time, my man. Appreciate you. I hope you're doing alright. Thank you for the continued support. Alright, so I've already destroyed three out of the five enemy structures. This particular map, apparently, the tutorial map is just a straight line, but obviously... It'll get a little bit more complex. So the grist mill is like the main structure. This is like the, the command center, from what I remember. We gotta kill the command center. We did it! The long coats will feast. Okay, so I took 3 minutes and 13 seconds, which means I was first as far as the world record goes. Which is pretty good, dude. Nice. Well done. Loco destroying a windmill is a bit anticlimactic. Alright, so here we go. The revolution has begun. Sleep well, my child. I promise you, the civilized shall feast on innocence no more. Right, so I think this whole thing was triggered because his son got eaten by one of the other animal tribes. I guess they literally ate the rich. Yeah, maybe not great. Anyways. They took him last feasting day, a mere morsel of a boy. So I can interact with different things. I was a prize fighter before I bought the Old South. Sold off half my trophies to get it going. Bought them all back two years later. Hey, boss, we're doing just like you said, planning for a long haul. Turns out, after your little stunt in the bone pits, Archimedes reached out to his old comrades in the KSR. Now he's got gristmills churning out meat in the black sledge. Or sledge, rather. A quartermaster got her KSR, uh, KSR goons keeping watch. The civilized, they're building up their larders, raising an army. But we have a surprise for them, yes? Just like you said, boss, we got tunnels running all the way out there. We'll take out those civilized grist mills and be back here in time for Cheskers. Alright, so this is a little quest right over here. So, there is... The grist mill, that's the main objective, and then the bonus objectives as well. I can hit tap for a mission hint. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but now I can't disable it anymore. Just don't read it, okay? Uh, so it's called the Black Sledge Uprising. In the hardest of times, loyalty isn't earned, it's bought. Under the KSR's nose, Belavid gathers his army of paid insurgents. Alright, let's go. Tactics will be necessary here. Yikes. I should start building a warren. This warren will automatically recruit units. How did this work again? I can build another unit type as well. Select a freight union. All right, I can select between these two different kinds of units I can produce. One thing though, I do need to take care of real quick is move my subscriber goal. I do love the premise of this game though. It's really nice. Yeah, I never finished this game. So I did play it at some point, Nelson, you're correct, but I never finished it. And I do want to check it out. I don't know where the story goes. I can build other unit types as well, right? So I can put down these things. And they cost a certain amount of food. So this one is 120 food in the bottom right. And I can build it right over here. Alright, yeah, and units will just occasionally pop out. 
up to a maximum that's displayed at the bottom of the screen. So I've got the Distillery Brothers. Yeah. Alright. So the unit cost is 20 and it automatically produces. The structure itself costs 60 if I'm not mistaken. And I guess it's every 10 seconds right there for one of them to pop out. Is that how it works? And then the Fright Union. So I've got two of those right now. Um... A freight union? Whatever. It's 120 as well. And then unit cost is 60 with two supply. Now. Right. Now that I have an army, it's time to go on the offensive. Okay, so I gotta build eight warrants. I don't know what a warrant even is. Right. I can rally my entire army or just the units of a particular type. How do I rally the whole army? Is this where the APM comes in? <laughs> I actually kind of want to build more of these. I don't know which one is considered the Warren. I guess this is a Warren right over here in the bottom left, right? Um, I don't know if I can afford that many, but it looks like a Warren anyways. So how do I rally my entire army? Yeah, how do I use the old army hotkey, guys? Okay. Get him, boys! Yeah, so I'm pretty sure my guys on the left... Or, sorry, these guys, the Freight Union. Uh, I think they're only, like, siege weapons, right? So they're not gonna be particularly good against these types of enemies. Pretty sure I just need a whole load of, uh... Yeah, you guys should probably back off over here. Wait, so why- how am I not... Oh, it's a left mouse button click, that's the difference. So wait, right mouse button is the all army hotkey? Left mouse button is the only- okay, 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 gotcha, 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 gotcha. So I've already built eight warrants, that's good. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and just bring the Distillery Brothers with me. And we'll just gun down whatever we can. Okay, now I will need the whole army. And we'll get them over here soon enough. Age of Empires looks different now. Yeah, it's got a bit different, right? It's a little New more blurry. Hey, what's going on, Turtle Stew? Thanks for continuously providing a nice place to hang out at. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Glad you still enjoy. You gotta thank the, uh, the community members for that, though. Not, not something I do a whole lot about, dude. I've magically got the best community on Twitch. It's true, dude. Except for that one guy. You know who you are. New subscriber detected. I was so not feeling this morning that I took a day off. Guess now I don't need an excuse to watch Loco seems good. Guess the 13 really is unlucky. Thank you very much, Inflatable. Hope you're doing all right now. Even if you didn't do so great this morning. All right, we gotta wait for new reinforcements to come in. They're currently building. Come on, leads. Hey, at least you had the liberty to take a day off then, right? That's pretty good. Whenever I take a day off, people just give me shit all the time, dude. <laughs> they say that I have literally no passion and all that. Ay, ay, ay. I gotta say, guys, so so far in 2022, I've been taking two days a week off. Like, off of streaming, that is. Uh, I still did, like, probably like three, four hours yesterday. But anyways, I gotta say, so far, it's been nice. The long coats will feast. Mm -mm -mm. Two days off, no passion. Yeah. The revolution has begun. So I can replay the mission over here with this lad, but I think we're good, man. I don't need to do that. Only three hours, no passion. Yeah, true. I'm just getting old, dude. I think that's the that's the TLDR here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, so I think this is the next quest. In our headquarters. Can I talk to any of you guys? Set him up and knock him down, Bellavid. Is that my name? Am I Bellavid? I heard the civilized took your son, boss. What a waste. He couldn't have been more than a morsel. Bro, no need to rub it in. The modern animal eats his meat. The food of beasts. Uh, the food of the beasts is for criminals and swine. Ay, ay, ay. If my revolution is to succeed, I'll need enough meat to feed an army. The criminals and swine may yet come in handy after all. Meat is what you make of it. I never really liked this slogan, but my patrons seem to. Hey, boss, listen. I don't like them yellow cloaks any more than you do, but they did feed us. They fed you my son! Sure, sure. <laughs> so why are the rest of us finding him? I mean, aside from the fact you're our boss. You ever heard of the sage sending one of his own to the kitchens? Of course not. And if they do feed you, your fate is already sealed. They're only fattening you up for their next feast. Ah, you're right. The civilized are getting fat on our bones. Uh, I want to get fat on theirs. Dude, this guy is a traitor, man. I feel like we need to... Uh, we need to feast. He's doubting my supreme rule. Wow. A little bit suspicious at the very least. A little bit sus, that's for sure. Loco, I believe that's because you're not supposed to love your job. Wait, is that why? I love my job, dude. Doesn't even feel like a job. Does it over or impact your overall viewer count throughout the week? Uh, maybe a little bit. But honestly, viewer count seems to go up and down throughout the years anyway, right? Like, it's, uh... I try and not pay attention to such things too much because it's very easy to become very obsessed over the subscriber count or over the viewer count or over your follower count or your whatever, man. Like, there's a lot of different metrics that are very easy to look at on Twitch and on YouTube and all of those places in particular. It's very easy to then go and compare it with other people as well. Um, I do think that's one of the things that you can really get a little bit carried away with, especially if it, like, is your, like, quote-unquote job. Um, New subscriber detected. It's just not not healthy, you know. Just stopping by to say hi and keep it up. What's going on, Matrix? Thank you for the 54 months. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I think I think comparison is good if you can do it like without getting too emotionally involved, you know. As soon as like it's your main obsession and the one thing you care about more so than anything else, it takes the joy out of whatever you do very very quickly. I guess that doesn't just go for streaming or for YouTube or whatever. It's just easier to compare numbers, right? I can be like, haha, I am getting more viewers than them. That must mean I have a bigger peep. Okay, no, that's, you know what I mean? But like, it's very easy to just get a little carried away with that. Yeah. If you pay too much attention to viewer counts, you have to do the best game of the year 365 times a year. Yeah, if I cared only about viewer count, I should just be streaming StarCraft 2 all the time. It's just that that makes it less fun for me. And, uh, yeah, I, I want to have fun. <laughs> I mean, I love playing StarCraft 2, don't get me wrong, but if you play that for like 100 hours every month, um, well, actually, more than that, uh, it becomes a pretty frustrating game. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I don't know if it's that great of an idea to be stuck with one game as it is, you know what I mean? But if I really wanted to care about viewer count, I should probably play League of Legends, Dota, Fortnite, Call of Duty, FIFA, uh, whatever else the most popular games are. And I've tried most of those games, but I didn't really like them. So you know what? Fuck it. If I'm going to play video games for a living, I'm going to play the games I want to play, right? Yeah, slot machines right now, dude. Slot machines are all the hype these days. Ugh. I've ranted about that already. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole once again, but... GTA roleplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what's going on, Nolan? You overslept today? Good morning. Hey, boss. We did, you, we did like you asked and got some gristmills up and running in Black Sledge. Let me see if I got this right. We got the swine working the fields. They plop the grain in the mill. Wind powers the mill when it turns grain into food. How does that work again? Alchemy, my friend. A, wonderlo a wonderful, delicious alchemy. 
No, I think it's just... They're just grinding. It's... Anyways. Hey, boss. We, uh... We may have a bit of a problem. What kind of problem? So, some of my brothers were working the mills down by the docks, you see. They mentioned seeing a yellow cloak or two, but I thought nothing of it. But now we're not getting any reports back from the docks. I think the civilized are making their move. Then so, too, must the longcoats. Prepare our bullet hives. We must defend the docks. Alright. Bellavid's riots will never spark into revolution without food. Your Grismo and South Dockside are converting grain into meat for the cause. You must defend them. So how are we defending, uh, or how are we turning grain into meat? Are we like, we're harvesting grain, we're having animals eat the grain, and then we eat the animals? Is that the build order? I think that's the build. Murder is the secret ingredient? Right, 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 right. Impossible whoppers? I don't think that's what's going on. No, no, no. Alright, so the bonus objective is to finish with 16 farms, and I gotta defend the grist mill. Let us see. An army needs food. We should start by building farms. If we want to travel quickly between grist mills, I can burrow here. Okay. And then I can hit spacebar to emerge wherever I like. Gotcha. Okay, so these are my current uh, pigs right over here. Archimedes will try to destroy me. I should build defenses. All right, so I can build defenses over here. I don't know where he's going to be attacking me from. For the high ground, I guess? Oh, it's a small little turret. I need more farms and more bullet hives if I am to survive. All right. So when is he going to attack me? I don't know. Where is he going to be attacking me from? I guess he's going to attack me in a couple of different places. I'll go ahead and head on over to the other location as well. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, I, I should build another one of these turrets. Okay. So, it's just one resource right there in the bottom left. Alright. So, it's eight farms right here. Per grist mill, right? So, I guess I've already got the 16. Oh, there we go. Gun him down, boys. Easy. I don't know how many of these uh, bullet hives I'm gonna need. Okay. Oh, shit. I got attacked by some sort of poison thing. That was actually intentional. I just wanted to see what happened when I died. Uh. Get him, boys! Why is my high ground uh, bullet thing not doing anything? Ah, there we go. Ooh, not ideal. Oh, these things are actually quite cheap. Okay, let's go to the other side, because I feel like they... Yeah, indeed. They were heading on over in this direction. Can't build on slopes. Fair enough. Call in the reserves. We are weakened. Wait, so why does it say I've got 16 or 15 hives? Or farms, rather. Oh, I have to replant that one, I guess. Farms provide food, with which I can build bullet hives. I should build more. How do I build a farm? I've already got all the farms, right? Yeah, yeah, Oh, I just gotta survive for a couple more minutes. Or a couple more seconds. That's the whole win, I guess. I did it! I forgot about that! That's what you know. We're doing it. I'm a one-man nidus worm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can teleport between multiple places. Look at the Captain Octopus, Trilbo Swaggings, Oxygen, Stevenus, St Stevenus, St Stevenus, Lettuce Sandwich, Swiss Govna. <laughs> Great nicknames. Great nicknames.
Am I playing the KSR right now? I don't know if I am currently playing the KSR. I'm not sure. I, I the long tails or something, right? Or the long coats, whatever. Yeah, is that like I don't know if there's multiple. Oh, this is the meat storage. There's just a bunch of pigs in there. Yeah, these are the long coats. I wasn't sure if that was like a a separate name for the KSR, but it's not the same thing. I am perfectly fresh and clean. I don't need the washroom now. There's like a mole or something like hammering away at the toilet. I'm not sure. A long coat's oath. To freedom, to wealth, in a state of nature, long coat's rice. I'm perfectly fresh and clean. I don't need the washroom. All right, fine. You think it's a parrot? No, dude. That thing over there on the right? That's not a parrot. That's definitely a mole, isn't it? I don't know. There's about 12 pixels of them. I feel like it's a mole. I don't see a parrot in it, though. <laughs> hey, if long codes want to keep freight union labor, we're going to need some days off. Wed war. No days off. Fridays. You give us Fridays and we'll fight. Dude, this guy is making all sorts of demands. Uh, so our barkeeper currently has moved on over here. Hey, boss. Uh, Orange selling for a pretty penny right now. Turns out war is a pretty good time to be a long coat. Morning, Fosh. Morning, Shosh. I'm here for an inspection. Distillery is hopping at capacity. Look. So, uh, why are you making us ramp up production now, boss? I need infantry and sober men are too smart to fight. How about it? Your boy's willing to die for the cause? Uh, I mean, no. You said something, boss? More Oren Fash. I need as much as you can brew and then some. Emperor Loco is back. Apparently the way in which I will motivate my army is by giving them alcohol. Ah, you know. It is what it is. I gotta get the job done one way or another. So I've been wondering, uh, how are we gonna feed an army if we ain't eating our own soldiers? Why do you think we stockpile swine? They don't complain of their fate and I don't complain of their taste. Yeah, but ain't there only so many swine to go around? Maybe we should consider eating, well, I mean, you know. You mean each other? What's the food of beasts? Ha! You've been hitting too much of the orn, my friend. Yeah, this guy is suggesting not eating meat. Or, you know, cannibalism. Whatever he's suggesting. I just want pig, apparently. Bacon is what I want. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the time. Uh, so this is the custodial room. Under repair, do not enter. Dude, there's some alcohol and uh, some liquor on the ground right here. South No Oak got moldy in transport. If the copper isn't already, or dead already, or the Cooper rotter isn't dead already, I'll have to fire him. Boss, ain't you so worried about the KSR raid? The KSR is service to the Tsarina, bless her, not the civilized. But ain't revolutionizing, you know, illegal? Won't the quartermaster drag us all to the kitchens? Trust me. She'll stay out, uh, or stay out of it so long as we keep the fighting off the city center, right? I'll handle the KSR. You and your brothers just keep the orn flowing. So, wait, which mission is this? Oh, this is one of the very first ones. Okay, so the guy just moved. All right, I gotta go talk with the big man. We could always eat this guy. I feel like we could feast for days. I mean, assuming we can take him down. I have a new idea for the main course, Bellavid. Enough to clear our plates. When the civilized built their grist mills outside the city, they did so on my family's land. My brother thinks it's time we took it back. Pay him well, and he'll burn the civilized grist mills to ash. The coup is nearly over. This is no coup, Unk. I don't care who stands atop in the end. The Lonkos will, or the Lonkos rather, will seize power. That seems the natural consequence of revolution. But what I want most is to see Archimedes kicking and screaming as he's dragged atop the Lonkos feasting table. Dude, these guys don't mess around. So there seem to be three factions in the game. The Civilized, the Lonkos, and the KSR. 
I guess those are all separate campaigns. Um, so I remember this, like, area that we are currently in, but I don't think I ever got past... Oh, yeah, there was a fourth one in the opening cinematic. You're right. Look, how does your PC handle such graphics? I know, I know. I don't want to flex too much, uh, but I got a new graphics card specifically for this game a little while ago. Glad I upgraded my computer. All right, anyways, uh, destroy the enemy gristmill, and I got to claim six of them. The harvest is healthy, and the long coats are now poised to purge the civilized from the city. Recruit Butter's brother and burn the civilized army to ash. All right. What's up, Bucky? Oh, the common folk are the fourth ones. Yeah, I think you're right. I can't afford this mercenary. Alright. So you can queue up farms, but not too many. Okay. So I can recruit people right over here. Can I not build any of these things? I can't spend what I don't have. Yeah, I think I can. I just need to have the resources for it. These guys seem good. Just the good old Burroughs, the distillery brothers. I like the music. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. So I can also get one of these lads. Uncle Butter. That's one of the units. And I think we had these in like one of the first missions, right? The very first one. Where uh, he's got just a... This is like, like a fire bat, basically. Anyways, I think we should probably start with marines and then think about fire bets and siege tanks a little while later. What's going on, Dr. Minotauro? You made it back to Kyoto? Okay. I didn't realize you actually lived in uh, in Japan, dude. Ooh, woo, am I right? Wait, no, wait, no, wait, hold up. I just repeat what Gabe tells me, okay? I don't know how any of this works. So I can make six grist mills. I probably should... Um... You moved here a couple years ago? Gotcha. I should probably try and collect those other grist mills as well, because a natural expo would be nice. Okay. Getting one of my... What is that on their backs? It almost looks like a, a lipstick type of thing. Oh, look, here's another grist mill. Yeah, yeah, so we should definitely try and make a bunch of, uh... A bunch of farms around these. Oh my god. Destroyed. So, how long does it take to repair? Oh, it just takes a little while. It's got, like, a little circle that's filling in right now. ba da ba 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 I think um, just getting as many of these as we can is a good idea, right? My son will be avenged when we pick the meat from your bones. The covers are empty. I must sell some structures. No, no, no. We're fine, dude. We're still getting income, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we are. No, I never finished this game. I only played for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I really liked it though, so I'm not sure why I didn't finish it. I was probably just not happy with my stream or something. Get him, dude. We gotta destroy this one as well and then take control of it. Are those Bane Links? Oh, jeez. Okay, go over, go go back, please. I lost, yeah, I lost faith in the revolution. Okay, I'm gonna build one of the big boys. So these also cost 180, though. So the structure, I think, is 180, but the unit also costs 180. How are these guys one supply each? They're huge. I don't even know how I get supply, by the way, for what it's worth, but... I should probably put, like, a bullet hive or two down. Yeah, I'm gonna put a couple bullet hives down next to my, uh... Oh god, they don't like that I'm right next door. 
I will put down a couple of bullet hives. Because I think we need to try and kill those guys before the Banelings uh, try and fight me. Is this Age of Empires 5? Uh, the pathing in this game definitely is better than Age of Empires 4, so it could be Age of Empires 5. Okay, I'll put down one more bullet hive. I don't think there's any reason. Yeah. It doesn't have patrol yet. No, that's true. I think I need to save up. If I, like, save up 180, does it automatically start building this land? I don't know. Okay, we need to try and, like, not let that happen every three seconds. I'll put down a bunch of these things. Let's go out on T Neon. Thank you very much. 42? I mean, 42 obviously is edgy, right? But it's also the answer to the life, the universe, and everything. Have you considered that? Hey, look, there's my big boy. Nice. So do I pay for it first and then it starts building? Or does it build first and then I have to pay for it? So the production structures also dictate the amount of supply they give you. I think the reason why... Uh these guys are three supply each. Did I spawn in groups of three? Is that what happens? No, I'm not exactly sure. What does it say three supply? Okay, I want to get one more of those big boys. The boar. Can I repair things? I think they're auto repair. Did Loco say weed is the answer to the life, the universe and everything? No, 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 no. I said the number 42 is. I'm not big on weed myself, but... I don't think anyone considers that the answer to the life of the universe and everything either, man. Hate to disappoint you. Alright, lads. I think it's time for us to take care of another one. Everyone come here. So actually, let's observe the boar real quick. So this structure is almost done building. It takes a long while. Okay, so I just paid for it, right? I just paid for it. So when is it done? I have more than 180 right now. Is it building right now? It's probably building right now. Yo, Typhoonie! You are streaming right now? What? You were probably still streaming, right? That's what we're getting at. Is that a is that a Twitch chat emote? <laughs> I have not seen it before. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, you started early today? Dang. I figured if you were to rate me at this hour of the day, you were probably still up being uh, 3 p.m. Oh shit, you're already at six emotes? Isn't the uh, subscriber or like the emote count you have dependent on the amount of subs you have? I know they like messed around with that at some point as well, but that's awesome, man. Okay, I need to go fight, I need to go fight. I'm spending way too much time derping around. This game is pretty neat, yeah. We're at the very beginning. We gotta go take out this gristmill right now, though. Go, lads. Go. Alright. That was expensive, but I think we've done it. Witness the, uh, the might of a well-paid army. I love how aggressive, like... Like, on first sight, the, the game's story is pretty tame, right? Because it's literally just a bunch of animals fighting each other. But they're taking their wars very serious, which is really nice. Oh, they increased the base emote slots? 
Oh, okay, because I remember initially if you're an affiliate streamer, I think you only get like one emote slot, but they changed that. Oh, there's one right over here? Wait, what? Was that one free? One minute until my army goes on strike? Oh shit, dude. Sell everything. Uh, I didn't realize that my army would go on strike if I don't feed them. Alright, 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 alright. Dude, I just... I guess I don't have to expect that many attacks anymore from that side, but I want to really claim this other one right over here. Oh, so my base is run out. That's why I'm not getting any income. I didn't realize that my grist mills would run out of resources that quick. So look, there's no more resources right over here. Okay, so we need to put down our... Uh, our farms right over here. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay, I think I, I got a little carried away with... I have a lot of units right now, I guess, but I got a little carried away with the amount of production I have. Okay. I need to make sure I get new resources. My minerals had already run out on the base. I should have also scouted around a little bit better though, because that one was ripe for the taking the whole time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You're playing Diplomacy is not an order? Or not an option? Diplomacy is not an option? That sounds friendly. Okay, I think there's only one Grismo remaining. We should play we should probably try and, and play it safe. Insane game. Okay. So there's a bunch of good games coming out this month. Oh, they had already mined out this base too, which is why I can't fill it in. I think. No. Yeah, yeah, the land is useless. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna hire this guy. There's a bunch of good games coming out this month. So I, um... Yeah, I'm basically... I'm trying to not start up any playthroughs that are gonna be super long. I know that this is relatively short, this game is. Which is nice. I'm especially looking forward to playing Horizon Zero, or not Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden Wests. And I'm also looking forward to playing Elden Ring, of course. Elden Ring is, you know, one of the games I'm really looking forward to. Wait, did I not get the... Was that the main objective? No, no, I gotta claim this one. Okay, okay. I thought for a second accidentally that that was the main objective done. Alright. We can claim loads. Hello. Yeah, so they keep tunneling underground. Get them, lads. Kill them dead. Oh, dude, there are so many grist mills here. Windmills are pretty OP, man. Are we gonna sing the song? Not yet. Is there still one enemy? Okay. Sorry. I should get an emote for killing them dead. Every once in a while I have people correcting me saying, Loco, it's not actually correct to say kill them dead. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm well aware. Whoa. Was that an owl? What the fuck was that? A fudge was that?
Do you want to build a windmill? Come on, I do need meat. I gotta fish. Or wait, no, I, I can't fish actually. We just gotta finish our, our enemies here. All right, the long coats will feast once again. Ay 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 ay, amazing. Look, could just do a quick Witcher, <laughs> a Witcher three, a hundred percent run. I haven't played Iconoclasts. No. There's a load of games that are worth playing, man. Um, so where do we go now? Okay, I gotta check on the weapon cache later. Uh, what about... Ah, the toilet. I can I can go to the toilet. Hey, Bella Feed! Freight Union ain't getting paid enough. My crew is starving and meanwhile you hoard swine. We started a war, friend. We have no idea how long it may last. We must keep frugal. Yeah, just drink, dude. Just be drunk 24-7. That will take care of the problem. Civilized troops aren't or are eating. They keep bragging about their feasting tables. Yes, and they're stocked with the likes of you and your crew. I fight for you, they eat you. I hear you, boss, but starving beasts do desperate things. Maybe share in the spoils sometimes. Hello? Dirty revolutionary should watch his back. Is that a threat, engineer? If dirty revolutionary no feed engineers, engineers stop working. What? Now the engineers are getting angry at me. That's like half of my Twitch chat. Are you guys moles? Is that what's going on right now? Follow up question. Do you guys hang out underground? And do you have really bad sight? Is this uh... Oof, I didn't realize that, that was a thing. New subscriber detected. What's going on, Thor? Thank you for gifting us up to Keycon Jimmy. I have really bad senses now for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah. Engineer stopped working, toilet stopped working, then bathroom smells New like poo poo. <laughs> Alright, sorry, Chad. I didn't mean to offend you like that. I don't want my bathroom smelling like poo poo, okay? I don't want that. If dirty revolutionary no feed soldiers, soldiers switch sites. It's simple food math. Alright. Ooh. Our, uh, what was this? This is where we eat, right? Wait. Are we eating this family of pigs? Greetings. Swine 418. Will this pile of, uh, what is this? Yellow grass, will it be sufficient? Ah, yes, yes. We swine have no need for meat, nor any modern necessity. Good. Carry on, then. Of course, sir. Thank you, sir. These guys are... Are, are they aware of the fact that we're eating them? The swine requested a chesker set to keep them occupied before harvest. Not sure how they learned to play. Are they... They're being very polite. Swine 423. I see you've taken an interest in art. Does it relax you? Perhaps it helps to marble the belly region? Oh, yes. Pardon my asking, but do you know when 1 or 419 will return? I'd have to check the ledger, but I believe 419 was with me in Black Sledge. Oh, was he? I'm sorry. But was he above the gristmill or below? I don't know his assignment, swine, nor do I care. Besides, it was a, or I was a bit busy at the time. It is important to keep your swine fat and happy before the harvest. Makes the meat more tender. Bella Vide, I must thank you for treating my family so well. How did you learn to pronounce my name, swine? I'm a breeder. I've seen many a generation pass through harvest. Hmm, who told you about the harvest? One of the engineers? Unk? Oh no, but you would be surprised what bees say around us. Just the other day, some of our friends were speaking of mutiny. Mutiny? By whom? Speak, swine! Why? The distillery brothers, of course. Some were starving to death. So they've gone to break into your meat storage in the gut. How do you know about our meat storage? Just whispers, Bella Feed. Well, this treachery cannot go unpunished. The distillery brothers have much to answer for. If it's a feast those traders want, then I'll see them all choke before the end. Alright. 
So our objective is to survive. If you want to be cool, we must destroy the enemy gristmills. Mutiny. Traitorous squirrels from the distillery have stolen meat from the Longcoat settlement called The Gut. Bellafide must sell some of the weaponry to stave off or yeah, stave off starvation. Hmm. No, 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 no. We can't eat Bellafide, guys. Okay, we got to be careful. All right, let's go. My army is starving. I must build a mill or a farm. Yeah. So, I'm still on short on food. I should sell bullet hives. Yes. I don't know if those were the ones to sell, but... More farms means more food, but I should consider building an army. No, 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 dude. Drones first, then army, okay? Ideally, you make about 80 drones first, and then you make army. New subscriber detected. But I might want to have at least some attacking units. Probably, probably not a bad idea. Uh, this one seems pointless. Almost. All right. Start harvesting. There you go. Very good. Hey, thank you, Thort, for gifting a bunch of subs to everyone once again. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be attacking me, right? But judging by the fact that I'm in the top section of the map... Okay, I might need some units as well, though. So, I'm making Distillery Brothers to try and outsmart the Distillery Brothers. Yeah, yeah, we got a macro. We got a macro, of course. Alright, so my pigs are ready. So, the pigs are harvesting the wheat that they eat, and then they get eaten themselves? Is that... Am I understanding the strategy? <laughs> I think that's the strat. Oh, I can also make engineers now. What do they do? Is this what you guys look like? Oh my god, I had no idea. Cool hat, chat. That's exactly what you look like? Dang. Fancy. Where'd you get that picture of me, Loco? I'm sorry, guys. Look at those gains. Look at those biceps. Jeez, dude. 